Alright, so um, what's happening right now is uh, I finished the robot in its uh, basically second stage. The first stage was just testing it with all the electronics taken off of it and just kind of holding them as it scurries along. But um, basically what I'm going to do right now is now that I've uh, taped everything down, I've uh, covered it with um, gray tape to prevent it from rubbing, all the wires from rubbing against that uh, blue motor that you can see. It's going to spin for a second. That right there, that could be really bad if I get a wire caught on that because the whole casing of the motor spins as opposed to the uh, traditional brush motors where you don't really have to worry quite as much just about the about the head. Um, so anyway, um, we'll test this thing out real quick and uh, pop the shell on, see how it does, and hopefully it will run pretty well. And remember, this is only the second stage. We're going to go through this and make a couple more modifications. Probably not in this video, but um, more likely in a later chapter of this robot's life. Alright, so um, anyway, here we go. We're just testing the left-right movement. Forward, backward. And then... Look at that. That's, that's perfect. And now, in case any of you are wondering, there is um, still a piece of wood that I've left inside of the robot. You probably see it right there. It's that uh, piece right in front of the wheel housing. Um, it's just this right here. Um, and so what what that is for is I just wanted to keep the uh, wheels from moving forwards or backwards without uh, me telling them to. Uh, that just holds them in place. And it also balances out the robot a little bit better because uh, the battery is towards the back. But um, as you can see, very maneuverable. Not the fastest robot on the block, but uh, it should be quite consistent once we get done. Um, so anyway, just let me real quickly attach the uh, the um, frying pan of death. Oh, sorry about that. Kind of kick the stand. Right, so anyway, I've got to remember everything should be tight. I didn't have it tighten this up. We're only going to run it at low speeds right now, so this isn't that important. But still, good idea to make sure, even during that, that you have a good secure fit. You always want to make sure everything's balanced as well. I think I said that before, but that does help when you're testing out the robot. Now, later chapters of this, we're going to have a stronger frying pan. Right now, it's, it's relatively weak. This is just like something that you might get for a couple bucks, just at the store. Um, but anyway, just want to make sure everything's still in there. Okay. You just tighten that off. Using a small screwdriver. That's pretty good. Alright. And as you can see, this thing's still very mobile for being, being so small. Alright, so real quick, we'll fire up the motor, see how that works. Right now it's a little off-center. Could be because the frying pan's cheap. I think I told you that. Um, but, anyway, we're going to have to get back to this. Unless I can... Well, that'll be good enough. Try that out real quick. Just so the viewers get an idea. Still very mobile. Again, even with that spinning motion, that's and that's kind of a thing that you have to watch out for when you're originally building these things. Now, you give me a second. I'm gonna try and find. find something that I can chew up. Because I know some of the viewers are probably going to want to see, see some carnage out of this robot. So give me, give me a couple seconds and maybe we'll find something that we can chew up. Let's see. Why don't we just, for the sake of it, I don't have anything better right now offhand. Just see what it does to a magazine.
a little bit of a wobble. It's just eating right through that. Look at that, it's just, it's killing it, but uh, again, this is kind of thick, so not too bad. Paper is kind of hard to tear, but um, you know, it, against another robot, I think that's going to jolt the other guy around pretty well, so, you know, I mean, look at that, it's still mobile. Shards of paper everywhere, all over all my electronics, look at that, look at that, just everywhere, but uh, Pretty decent little robot for just uh, building it out of things that you find around the house. I mean, for me, it's around the house. For other people, it might be, oh, i got to go to the hobby shop and pick some of that stuff up. But um, relatively inexpensive if you don't count all the electronics that uh, you have to go out and buy. The radio system, the motors, uh, the servos aren't that bad. But um, just basically frying pan, few bolts, and like a subframe for it off of a computer and you've got yourself a decent little warrior robot so anyway that'll be it for this session um, we'll get back on onto the subject a little later in a few other episodes and we'll track the progress progress of this robot and hopefully take it to a competition or something alright so that's that's the show hope you guys enjoyed it and this is PJ signing out